welcome to Orange and Blue Workshop. Yes, I'm doing a stress bay in this workshop. So if you know Highland dancers who've been asking you to play for the Highland Flame, this is the perfect tune. Uh, so you can check out the link below to get all the lessons uh, for Orange and Blue. And here we're going to just do a little wee chunk of music for lesson one. Nice little bite-sized piece of music for you. If you enjoy this workshop, if you're learning orange and blue, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments if you're learning orange and blue, uh, or if you enjoy the Get Bagpipe Ready workshops. And let's begin. So a lot of bagpipe tunes will start on an E note for an introductory note, but in this tune, we're gonna start on a high A introductory note. So that's the little chunk we're gonna work on. And as you notice, it starts with that high A. And we're going to do non-embellished version first, and then we'll throw those embellishments in in a moment. So starting on the high A. So that's our first sequence of notes. So we're on the high A. Bottom hand is in the low A position. Pinky is up. Top hand, usually the left hand. Top hand, thumb is off, and the top two fingers are off, but that ring finger's on. There's our high A. And we're going down to the F. So bottom hand does nothing. But the top hand, the thumb comes on the hole on the back and the top finger comes on the top hole. And that ring finger is going to come off as well. So that's our transition from high A to F. And that F is quite short. We're already hopping down to the D. And that F to D transition, lots of fingers on the move there. The bottom hand has to go up with all the fingers except the pinky finger comes down. That's our D. The top hand, we're on the F already. Those two remaining fingers have to come down and all that has to happen at the same time. If that's a new transition to you, practice your ambulances while you pause the video. And if that's old hat for you, then let's continue on. So we have two Ds in a row. We have to separate them with something. Probably the simplest way is to just do a G grace note with the top finger of the top hand. That would be the simplest version. Uh, if we are doing embellishments, we'll sneak this one in here because it's not too bad of embellishment because we're just on a D and we're staying on a D, is you can do a G grace note, D strike. Um, I tend to, Lots of times, maybe I overdo the heavy D strike, but in this case, it's written just as a light D strike. So just with the top finger of the bottom hand. So I do the G grace note, and then right away, I do a strike just with the top finger of the bottom hand. And you wanna make sure that top finger finishes its grace note before the bottom finger comes down, but don't give it too much space in between. So there we have it. So let's play what we got so far. And then from there, we're gonna go down the low A. We won't worry about that G grace note for a moment. And then I go ahead and play it anyway. <laughs> So from the D down to low A, let's just talk about that uh, note transition without the grace note. Bottom hand, all the fingers come down, but that pinky finger comes up. And for these low A, D maneuvers, a little bit of movement in your forearm, not a ton, but a little bit of flexibility in your forearm will really help out your fingers with getting that speed. And it just takes some practice to get all those no, fingers to line up on their on their holes there to get to get that nice solid low A sound from the D. And there's only uh, you know uh, there's only the one other new embellishment here. We've already there's another D strike uh, coming up, but let's talk about this G grace note right now. Why not? Since I played it anyway. So from the D down to low A we can do a G grace note there. A tricky grace note because we're transitioning from two different notes, but I know with some practice you can do it. So what has to happen here, top finger lifts before you do the transition down to low A, then the top finger comes down. 
From there, we're going right back up to D. So we did that G grace note down to the way or just hop down to the way without the G grace note, then we're back up to D. And now we're going to do a grace note strike, just like before. So that's from the low A. So let's put that ending on what we've got so far, and we've actually added in all the embellishments already. But again, you could take out, you could slim the fly, the D strike, just to a grace note, and you can take out the grace note going down the low A if you wish. But let's play what we have so far. And let me just slow that down a wee bit for you. And that's lesson one. Again, thumbs up, comment below if you enjoy the workshop or if you're uh, learning Orange and Blue, I'd love to hear from you. And uh, again, the link is below the video to check out all the lessons of Orange and Blue. And I can't wait to see you in lesson two. Until next time, happy piping. Thank <laughs> you.